Have you noticed that some of your cows are not cleaning after calving? If you are, let's talk about a few things that you can look at to help prevent these issues. Retained placentas are generally a case-by-case -case issue versus a herd issue, but it's still important to dive into it and try and correct it. Now, retained placentas are generally caused because of either body condition, uh, low vitamin E or selenium, it could be as simple as difficulties during calving, twins, or just even a calf coming too early. Now, obviously some of these we can't do anything about. We cannot determine how many babies she's gonna have. We can't determine how easy or difficult her birth will be, but we can determine her body condition and we can determine the level of vitamin E and the availability of the selenium that we're offering to her. So it's important to be taking a look into that, looking at the stuff that we can control. Okay, so body condition, that's something that we can be watching on a consistent basis by looking at the cow, seeing do we need to um, increase the feed, decrease the feed to make sure that she's in prime condition. Um, but vitamin E, that is something where you're gonna have to take a deeper look into your supplement program and make sure that there's adequate levels of vitamin E because Something you have to keep in mind is you are feeding this animal for two, right? She's coming into calving. We're not just feeding the cow, we're feeding her and the baby. So the levels will have to be on a higher standpoint than what, you know, some companies will have lower levels of vitamin E different times of the year. But it's critical to make sure that level is adequate all times of the year because whether you either are growing a calf, about to have a calf tomorrow, or that cow is trying to take care of a calf on the ground. So no matter what, it is critical. Another thing though, so with the selenium, there's different forms of selenium that companies will use. And the different forms are different availabilities. Now, it's important to make sure that we're looking at a selenium that's 100% protected so that it's the, the easiest for that cow to digest and actually use. That way, when it comes time to calving for calving for example her levels are where they need to be for her performance now so many ranchers will just chalk up some of these things as unnecessary because they seem like such a small component and they're just looking to maybe cut a corner just for a little bit in the year to save a couple cents this is not the time to do that these components are so critical if you are continuing to see retained placentas even if it's one cow um, this year, two cows that year, and maybe it doesn't seem like very many, it all adds up. All of a sudden you start to see um, your calf crop being spread out and the weights not being a nice tight group because when you're getting retained placentas, they're not ready to breed when they should be. So now they're getting bred late, they're calving late, and that cycle just keeps getting worse and worse. And all of a sudden now you're culling a cow that really it's not even her fault She's a, probably a great producer, producing great calves, but we didn't get her the right nutrients at the right time. So this stuff all has a direct impact to your bottom line. So it is so important to be paying attention to these things that we can control to make sure that we have a positive impact on the bottom line as ranchers.